Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from Adnams Breweries, the second beer I'm doing in a row. It is the Adnams Old Ale. Now this has won the Champion Beer of East Anglia. I'm just reading some notes here from, there you go, from Adnams. Yeah, that won the Champion Beer of East Anglia. Um, it was the Harwich Beer Festival in 2011. Right, let's get this beer, Adnams Old Ale. I've just reviewed, sorry, it's a, it's a tin of beer, it's a big, big nine point poly pin or whatever they call them, a beer. Um, just reviewed the Soul Star, 2.7%. What a wonderful beer. Whoa, this is... Well, that is colourful, to say the least. Look at that! Wow! Oh, wow! Look at the colour of that. It's 4.1% ABV. It's a three-finger head. The head is... I, I like a... Um, a good, colourful, like a tan colour head. You kind of know... It's making my... It's making my um, saliva glands go nuts. Um, you kind of know by the head, the quality of the head, on some of these beers that they're going to be something else. Look at that, look at that quality. Look at the colour, the colour is very, very dark. You cannot, well you can just, I'd say, just about see through the colour of the beer. It is that colour there. If I was to try and look through it, it would be that colour there looking through it. Um, which is a very, very, very dark red uh, kind of. It's more or less pitch black, but there's a there's a reddish golden tinge to it. Anyway, Adnams Old Ale, four point one percent ABV. Let's get the nose. And as you would expect from an Old Ale. They probably dug through a load of history books to find out how, how an old ale would have tasted. And they, or brewed even, and they've gone ahead and tried to brew it. Um, I like a full pint, so I'm going to whack a bit more in there. There's no point in shirking on the real ale guy, there's got to be a full pint. There you go. Right, I'm going to get in. Cheers. Sorry, get the nose. Smells like an old ale. Do you know sometimes you'll pass a brewery and you get that brewery smell? Or if you, do you know if you ever visit a brewery on a brewery tour and you get that, you get that smell of the brewery? It's that smell. It's, it's kind of, it's very malty. I'm going to get in. Cheers. Oh, now that is totally different from the the Soul Star. Oh, that first thing I got was the creaminess of the beer, the creaminess, the smoothness. It was like silk going down my throat. Then I was waiting for flavours, I was kind of waiting and waiting and waiting. I, and then all of a sudden I got this, this fresh bread. Adams have got this trick of getting like this freshly baked bread smell and taste. It, it translates into taste in their beers. I mentioned their Spindrift earlier which are described as a loaf of bread in a glass. This is, is like that. There's a lot less carbonation. It's, it's a lot darker. And as um, another head brewer told me once, an old ale is something your grandfather would have drunk. So 
This is to the old gents out there. Oh, and it's got. Now I'm just I'm just cleaning my palette from from the soul stab because that was brewed with Chinook and Cascade. It was very very hoppy. This after cleaning my palate, after having a few mouthfuls of this, it is hoppy, but in its own different kind of ra not ra it's not raspberry, it's you know it's it you know that um if you were to go Order an ice cream from an ice cream van. You get that the beer the, the beer if it was the the ice cream itself or the white ice cream, the creamy, wonderful whippy whippiness, you know, the whippiness of the ice cream. And then you get that that kind of like that raspberry sauce that they the you put all over the top of your ice cream. It's reminding me. It's reminding me of that um, kind of like that raspberryness that that goes on with the ice cream. So you're taking this massive liquid ice cream. You've got that the creaminess which translates into the creaminess of the beer, and then that that wonderful, wonderful raspberry, strawberry, jam type flavour. But it's it's quite like it is quite like yeah. That flavour you get, that that strawberry red red flavour on ice cream, on the, with the sauce, and that is uh, that is lovely. That for me. For me, it's got that edge. It's got that edge, which it's it creeps up on you. The more you drink the beer, the more it's creeping. It's creeping, and the more you enjoy it, the more it's it's telling you. Your head's telling you, this is a very very special beer. I've given tens. I've given tens on the Real Ale Guide for massive hopped American style IPAs and pale ales. I've given tens for a different category, an old Rasputin, something like that, like a Russian Imperial style. I've given tens for them. I've given tens for red ales, but I don't think I've ever given a ten. For a beer, mind you, man, uh, no, no, it's different. It's totally different. I don't think I've given a ten. I was going to say Romney Dag. I give a ten for Romney Dag, but I don't think I've ever given a ten for like an old ale or a, or a, um, a four point one percent bitter with so much flavour. But for me, that day in that glass is quite brilliant. It is quite brilliant. Oh it's, good. it's just got that the nose is the nose is very different. The nose is, is like you're walking around a brewery and there's 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 beer all around your feet, you know, and it's it's got a very different different nose to it but the taste is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's a big, it's a Stoner Crows 10 out of 10. That is a 10 out of 10 beer for me. Um, some of you might be going, wow, you've, you know, you've given this a 10 out of 10. Because you don't have to always use, for me, it's about delving into the, the histories of beers. And it's a good beer in its own right. They never wanted this to be 
a big hoppy IPA. You know, booming with, <coughs> pardon me, huge, huge hoppy grapefruity flavours. This, this is brilliant in its own way. This is brilliant because you probably, if I knew that beer was on cask 50 miles away, I'd probably jump on a train and travel 50 miles just to get hold and, and have a few pints and, and perhaps a meal with a beer like that. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, 10 out of 10. Adnams is www.adnams.co.uk, check them out. Extremely good beer, extremely good beer. Me, you can email me at realailguide at googlemail.com, Facebook is facebook.com forward slash realailcraftbeer, and Twitter is twitter.com forward slash today. But thanks for watching, I love your comments, be interested in what you think, and what your comments are about this beer. Subscribe if you like, and cheers.